if you go to Porto uh, in 2013, five, six years ago, the city, the I'd say it was not uh, fashionable to live in the city center, so it was quite abandoned, and there were not that many people uh, visiting Porto as well. But then I think Ryanair opened, uh, so we started to have a lot of uh, a big flow of tourists, and it kind of triggered the the development. People started to invest in the real estate. So right now, literally, if you go in the city center, there is a construction site every I don't know 25 meters. It is, a, it is an amazing chance for an architect, of course, because we have a lot of work, but at the same time we are a bit afraid that this is relatively a new thing, so we don't have a good uh, system of regulations, I would say, and there is, let's say, there is not a very clear idea of how to deal with the heritage, because we have a lot of renovations and a lot of old buildings are kind of preserved as they are. But then the new, uh, the new buildings you know, are trying to look like an old building, so the city is kind of a theme park for tourists in a way. So uh, I think we, as architects and also you know, the municipality, uh, like we have to reflect on how to, how to work with that kind of condition. It's always hard, you know, to combine the work at the office with all the teaching, but at the same time for us it's always a fresh... Uh, kind of a fresh uh, moment uh, because we, we have a lot of, let's say, ideas on some research in mind, but we never have the time. And I think with students, we get a lot of uh, kind of uh, a lot of opportunities to reflect on that research. And yeah, somehow, you know, the work that we do in the office, we try to, to kind of to introduce it to students. But at the same time, I think we also get a lot of uh, feedback from students and we, when we come back to the office, we, we also feel a bit, of a, a bit of an influence from the other side. I think, and I think even the, the scale of the city, because uh, Valencia is, uh, is not the most important city in Spain, and Porto is also, of course, it comes after Lisbon. So I think it's kind of the, the, more, the, the smaller, and the city kind of is a bit uh, less crowded, a bit more cozy. So I think it's, it's already related quite a lot. And then I was, I was talking to other teachers and professors who have their own practices, and I think we are facing kind of the same you know, the increase in the flow of tourists and then the, the very fact that all of us, we work with a lot of renovations. Uh, and yeah, you know, and both countries were kind of in a crisis and now there is the moment of coming out of this crisis. So.